Welcome to the Worcester Centre, where tonight Cable A Sports presents the MIA Division 3 State Championship game between the Foxborough Warriors, winners of their last 19 straight, taking on the Lee Wildcats, who won the West Massachusetts final by a score of 63 to 46 over Brumfield. Foxborough got here by winning the Garden on Monday by defeating Wayland 69 to 43. You can hear the Foxborough crowd starting to cheer. Goal teams. And now a public address announcer. Today's MIA Girls Division Three State Finals, matching the Foxborough Warriors against the Wildcats of Lee Mass. Introducing the starters of both teams, beginning with the Warriors of Foxborough. And their point guard was a senior, five foot seven, number fifteen, Jamie Kelly. <laughs> At the off guard is a senior, five foot five, number twenty-two, Denise O'Rourke. <laughs> Starting at forward is a freshman, five foot nine, number twenty-two, Brown. I can do it now. The other forward is a five foot nine, senior, number twenty, Christine Hickok. And at center, 5 foot 10 senior, number 44, Kristen Lantini. Warriors lineup, Jen Brown, Chris Lantini, Aurora, Kick Cox, and Kelly, number 5. Wildcats of Lee, Massachusetts. For Lee, the sign lineup, sir. Beginning with their point guard, who is a sophomore, 5 foot 4, number 20, Jessica Wilcox. <laughs> at the two guard, is a senior, 5 foot 8, number 13, Sarah Blaisdell. Five for five, senior to. forward, number 25, Kristen Cody. The other forward is five foot six, junior, number 24, Holly McMahon. Mid center, five foot nine, a sophomore, number 23, Dana Horn. Head coach for Lee is Tom Sanella. We're about set for the, this Foxboro tries to win their first ever state title. Lee's still on the corner, pre-game team huddle. There you see the Fox for high school bench. Ladies and gentlemen, can we all now please rise? I know, a national Honor anthem. Honor America with the playing of our national anthem. So we're about set for the tip of the Worcester Central in Worcester, Massachusetts. The race features cable cast has been waived by the MIA 
on behalf of the students at Foxborough High School. The MIAA represents 340 senior high schools across the Commonwealth and the 140,000 young men and women who participate annually in MIAA government athletic competition. Any rebroadcast or republication of this program without the written consent of the MIA is prohibited. So we're about set for the tip. It'll be Christian Latini jumping against Sarah Blades uh, Bladesdale. And we're underway with Lee controlling by Christian Cody to Wilcox. Kelly Gods. Kelly, ooh. First, for two, no good. Rebound. Wilcox. In a foul. Foxborough foul number 44, Lenzini. Foul number 44, Cody at the line and he's shooting two. There's some Cody at the line, shooting two. And she makes the first. The second shot. She makes both. It's 2 nothing Lee and we're underway. 15.36 to play in the first half. Kelly with the ball. She's taking the hoop. And she gets fouled. I foul called on Lee's 13 and plays down. Plays down, call for a first, first team, team foul. foul on the Wildcats. Kelly at the line shooting two. Kelly at the line will be shooting two. Lane violation. Kelly shoots one. Kelly will shoot one now. Lane violation. She makes it. It's two to one to score. Intercepted. Rebound. Brown. It's three to two. The Warriors take the lead. Lee brings it down quickly. Triple teamed, shot put up by Blaze down. It's good. Down. It's four to three. It remains Lee ball. We're off Kelly's foot. Oxford trying to win its first ever state title. Lee last year defeat, got defeated by Medway in this final. Out to Bladesdale. Puts up a three, off the rim. Rebound, no good. Latini with the rebound. Up to Brown, she puts it up, and it's good! It's five to four. Warriors take the lead back by a point. The McMahon, put up, no good. Rebound. A travel against Lee. Warrior ball. Inbound to Kelly. 0 2 Hickox. Back to Kelly. Kelly taking the hoop. No good. Rebound. Blades down. 14-15 to play. First half, we're in the, on the Worcester Central. Go by Wilcox. Sarah Blaisdell. Blaisdell at the hoop. It's now six to five, Lee takes the lead back. In and out, in and out. Six points with Brown, it's seven to six Warriors. Attempt to steal by Hickox. They're working inside, they're working back out. 
Shot put up, no good. Latini with the rebound. Kelly to Latini, back to Kelly. They get it fast half court. Travel against, Bra against Brown. Lee ball. Ball's put into Wilcox. Up to McMahon. And a shot put in by McCorn. Kelly to Brown. To Hickox. It's now 9 to 8. A one point lead for the Warriors. It's been like this back and forth. We got an offensive foul against Korn. Warrior ball. Come in the game. Withers and Fox. First foul on Korn, second team foul. Killer at the ball. She works it down fast. To Brown. No good. She gets a rebound. In a possession. Possession Warriors. Killer with the ball. Into Latini. No good. And a foul. Call gets Foxborough. With us at first. First personal, second team foul. 12 24 to play the first half for the MIA Division Three state title for girls. Fox, Fox got it, she knocks it away. From eight lead ball. Oh, foul call against Fox. First foul on Fox, third foul on the team. Up to the cross court. For three. Blades down. Lead up by two now. 11 to 9. Up to Fox. No good. Rebound by Cody. Steal by Weathers. To Kelly for three. No good. Brown with the rebound. In the put in. It's 11 11. 11 45 to play. Fox guides. Ball's controlled by Wilcox. Got by Kelly. Blades down for three. Brown, no good. Rebounded by McMahon. It's gone by Brown. To, to Kelly. To Withers. And Withers get fouled from behind. Cody, first personal, third team foul. Snow Wills will go to the line, she'll be shooting two. Nicholas replaces Corn. Withers at the line, shooting two. She makes the first. Now a two point game, 14 to 12 Lee. 10.55 to play, first tap. She makes both. 14-13, back to a one point game. 
Remains lead, Brown knocked it away. Stole it, Fox, he put it up. No good. It made Fox go ball. Kelly puts it out to Brown. Possession, Lee. Lee will put it in bound. Stole it, Brown! No, they don't got count. A foot was on the end line. Attempt to steal again by Brown. Knocked away by Crane! What a play! So you see Lee putting the ball in. Direct to Primina. No good. Rebound. Re rebound Brown. Kelly puts it up. No good. Korean lost the rebound. But picked up by Nichols. Ten minutes to play. Hey, what do you call it? A foul. A foul gets a, a continuation. And timeout's called. Lee takes their first timeout. Lee calls for the time. Emmy McMahon is after the game for the Wildcats. Let's tell you how Foxborough got here in the first round. They destroyed Norton 67 to 39. Then in the quarterfinal round, you see the, the bench. The Warriors. In the quarterfinal round, Foxborough dest destroyed Norwell. Then you see the Leeds bench. Fox have won at 68 to 29 in the semifinal round. They defeated Midway 78 to 68. And in the South Sectional Finals, they defeated Archbishop Williams 63 to 59. In the Eastern Mass Championship game, played the Boston Garden, they, they destroyed Wayland 69 to 43. And we've got time in. Kelly gets called for a charging foul. Leo put in bounds. Inside to the center, knocked back out. Almost lost a pass. They down at town the shot clock. Jump, Foxville ball. With 9.15 to play in the first half. Fox. Fox. 
Kristen Ella and Dana Korn have subbed into the lead lineup. Kill if we down the ball. And Latini with the layup. But Latini gets fouled. And he hit the free throw line for this turn for the tournament. She's 6 4 11. 6 4 11. For a second personal fourth team foul. For one second. Latina line shooting two. She's 6 4 11 from the tournament. She misses the first. This is to tie the ball game. But 9 on 9 to play in the first half. She makes the second. We're going to 14 14 tie. Nice layup by Korn. 16-14. The bucket foul called against. Bjorn Cinella. Wildcat foul called on 22, Chris Cinella. First person on Cinella, the fifth team foul on the Wildcats. Hickox going the line. Oh, well, they're going. And I'm going to put it in bounds. Inside the Brown. Got it stolen by Cody. No good. The rebound by Sinella. Lichini with the rebound. Three ball. No good. A block by Hickox. Ball catch ball. They're up by two with each 20 to play. Shot put up, no good. One call for the rebound and a foul is called. Foxborough foul number 20, Christy Hickox. Hickox, call for first. First personal on Hickox, fifth. fifth team foul. Dana Korn at the line to be shooting two. One line shooting two. Four points for the night, for the day. She misses the first. It remains a two point ball game. For 8.15 to play in the first half. She misses both. Rebound Brown. Dick Kelly with the ball. Playing her last game as a warrior. Miss bad pass. Stolen. To Cody. Looking around for three. No good. Brown with a seventh unofficial rebound. Kelly will work it down. Pops to the free throw line, no good. Rebound Cody. Bounce off a foot. Possession, Lee with 7.27 to play. Substitutions for both teams. Holly McMahon, Jessica Wilcox have been to the lead lineup. No good. Terrain with the rebound. And a foul called on McMahon. Team six, her first. Foul for Holly McMahon. First personal on McMahon, the sixth team foul on lead. Three. Tickhawks to Kelly. 
Seven minutes, 7.06 to play. In the crane. And the hoop. She ties the game at 16. Fox is trapped in the backcourt. No good. Warrior ball. With 6.46 to play in the first half. To Kelly. The Weathers. No good. Lee ball. Foxes got four people in the backcourt. They're pressuring. And a foul behind. Kelly goes over top. Her first personal, the 16 foul on the Warriors. Ty McMahon at the line. Shooting two. She misses the first. It remains a 16-16 ball game. She makes the second. Lee takes the lead back by one. Kelly works it past pressure. Nice pass to Hickox. The Warriors take the one point lead back. It's saved. Almost thrown away. We have played under 10 minutes. It's down to 5.58 to play. Please deal with the hoop. 5.50 to play. Foxborough. Fox is in the bonus. I'll shoot. The Warriors, one. Jamie Kelly will be on the line, attempting one and one. She went the line, she went one and one. She misses it. Rebound, corn. 18-19, Lee takes, has a one-point lead. Lead. Killer with the rebound, and a foul. Kelly at the line. Shooting the one and one for the tournament. The line, Kelly. She's she 11 for 14 for the tournament, and today she's one for three. She misses again. 5.28 to play. Fox guards. A travel call gets Lee. Warrior ball at 5.13 to play. Kelly runs up quickly. Pops. She misses it. Rebound Crane. She hits. It's a 20 to 19 lead for the Warriors. They're 4.53 to play. Oh, 
and a foul's called. Warrior foul called on 50, Aaron Corain. Ben Crane, second. Second personal on Corain. Time out on the court. Let's go with some tournament statistics. Fox has outscored the opponent 345 to 238. That means they're averaging 69 points a game, where the opponent is only averaging 47.6. They're out. They're not being out shot from the free throw line. They're shooting 59 for 159 for out of 100, out of 102 shots at 58 percent, while their opponents are 72 for 118 for 61 percent. But they're out rebounding, 187 to 92. So with the score, the Warriors 20, lead 19 with 4:46 to play. Blades. To Leading scores for Foxborough, Brown with eight, Martini with one, Hickox with four, Kelly with one, Withers with two, and Crane with four. For Lee, Bladesdale with 12, Cody with two, Corn with four, and McMahon with one. Foul trouble. But Lee, Sinella, and Cody each with two, and Corn with two. And Corrine for Fox with, with two fouls. We're going to get time in. Lee will have a chance to take the lead or tie it again. Game at 20. They'll try to take the lead. She misses it. Rebound Kelly. 438 to play. The Fox. Up, no good. Warrior ball. Nicholas replaces Dana Corn for the Wildcats. Martini comes back in the ball game. Martini replaces Dana Corn. Kelly will put it in. Brown. Travel, they call, gets Brown. It's still 20 to 20 with 420 to play in the first half of the West of Central State Championship game for Division Three. Yeah, I tried to deflect it there. Downtown, the shot clock. Cody puts it in. Basket by Cody. It's 22 to 20. Roll your ball. With 3.50 to play in the first half. Continue with the ball. Hickox. The Brown. Got it stolen by Cody. I'll try to take a four point lead, which would be the biggest. And they do. 
Wilcox. Wilcox for a the day. 24 to 20. Philly will bring it down. Closing on the three minute mark. Latini picks it up. It is a foul. A 308 to play in the first half. Three foul call on 24, Holly McMahon. Man second second. personal on McMahon. Latini at the line shooting two. She misses the first again. This is both. And it kickbox the rebound. Three minutes to play the first half. Twenty-four twenty-two to score. Kelly will be called for a second foul. Foul on 15, Jamie Kelly. Kelly's second personal foul. Dana Korn as they turn to the Wildcats lineup. Jessica Wilcox at the line for Lee will be attempting one and one. Wilcox for one and one. She misses it. Fox for ball. with the ball. But well cut the steal. 2.20 to play. The three, no good. Rebound Latini. Two minutes to play in the first half. <laughs> Up, that's a foul. Call, by, call against Cody, her third. Killer with the ball. We're down to 140 to play. To the Latini. It's a hoop. <laughs> the Warriors take the lead with a minute and 30 to play. 26 24 the score. <laughs> Kelly called for a third. Foul called in 15, Jamie Kelly. That is Kelly's third personal foul. Anisha Roper replaces Kelly. Kristen Ella. Kristen Ella. Replace Kristen Cody. Wilcox has one more shot. Wilcox on the line. She makes both. It's 26 26, so we're a minute and 20 to play. Fox messed up the offense. Withers. <laughs> a foul. A foul call gets Lee. We're a minute and four to play. Third. Third personal foul. 
Now for the tournament, she's 21 for 29 from the free throw line for 72 percent. Brown line, she'll be shooting. Jennifer Brown at the line, shooting two. Two shots. She misses the first. She has one left. She misses both. The team with the rebound. She gets two rebounds. She gets the hope. The Warriors 28 26 with 52 seconds to play. A kick. We means lead ball at 48.2 seconds. Second difference in the shot. To the game clock, the shot clock. No good. Sanella. Sanella. 28 28 with 32 seconds to play. With the ball. Withers. Up at two again with 10 seconds to play. Shot, shot clock's off. No oh, good. Four. Three. At the half. It's a 30 30 tie. The Warriors 30. Go oh, Wildcats 30. We'll be back for second half action right after this public service announcement. <laughs> oh, hey, what's going on? Shh, Hokey's coming. What are you guys up to? <laughs> oh. <gasps> Be careful with matches and campfires. Remember, only you can prevent forest fires. Sorry, force of. She still has it. She almost lost it. Into Latini. In the hole. 15.45 to play in the second half. 32 30 to score. Leave it. Brings it down. So that will come inside. Back out to the perimeter, to Wilcox. Remains the lead ball. Leo put it in. No good. Rebounded by Hickox. Kelly brings down the ball. Good. Rebounded by Bladesdale. Quick pass. The corn. 32-32. 14 50 to play. In regulation play. Cody with the steal. Team 30 to play. Keller works to the, to the far side. The Brown in and out. Rebounded by Corn. 4 11 to play.
No good. Three with rebound. Up to Brown. Still at Bladesdale. Long pass. No good. Kareem with the rebound. Up to Brown. Oh. She lost off her fingers as she was about to put it up to the hoop. Lead ball with 13.38 to play. 32-32. And timeout's called. Lee takes their second timeout. Lee calls the timeout here. Let's go to the leading scores. Brown has Athletes 10. Integrity and respect for value is important. Everyone the team with seven. High school sports and Cox with six. Keller at one. You see Dan Davis's bench. Is one of the strongest educational lessons and lifetime values taught by these interscholastic athletics. The next feature of this cable cast has been waived by the MIA on behalf of the students of Foxborough High School. The MIAA represents 340 senior high schools across the Commonwealth. And the 140,000 young men and women who participate annually in MIAA government athletic competition. Any rebroadcast or republication of this program without the written consent of the MIAA is prohibited. It's with 13.38 to play. We are tied at 32 for the Division Three state title. Leo put the ball in. Wilcox with the ball. A three. No good. Brown with the rebound. Kello brings it down. 13-10 to play. A steal by McMahon. And a foul. The first one of the half. Fouls on O'Rourke. Foxborough foul number 22, Denise O'Rourke. First personal on O'Rourke, first team foul this half on Foxborough. Nice inbound pass to Korn. Pass to by Dana Korn. Ball, 50 to play. 34-32. Crane picked off the tough off. Rebound, Korn. No good. Brown with the rebound. Kelly brings it down. Dishes it off. Trying to finish it. Still can't finish it. She finishes it. We are tied again at 34. With 12.05 to play. Now 12 minutes to play. No good. Rebound, Jen Brown. Keller puts it up. She gets it in. The Warriors take the lead again. 36-34. No good on the shot. Kelly with the rebound. Plays down with short. And a shot. Kelly. To Kareem. Rebound by Corn. Oh, and Wilcox. Play still with the ball. Under 11 minutes to play. 
And a foul's called. Foxborough foul on Denise O'Rourke. Second, second person on O'Rourke, second team foul. Wilcox at the line will be shooting two. Four points for Wilcox in the night. She makes the first. She misses it. Latini with the rebound. The Warriors try to go up to three points to make his lead. They're still getting the ball. With 10.42 to play. Emmy McMahon replaces Jessica Wilcox. For three! Oh. Rebound, Bladesdale. And a 10.30 to play. Six here on the shot clock. 10 seconds. Short. Possession, lead. 10.07 to play in the, first, in the second half. A timeout by the Not Warriors. Takes their first timeout. Still has her 10 point that she started half with, but including 10 rebounds, two steals, and a block. Latini with seven points, seven rebounds. And you see the end damage his bench. A rock with two points, three rebounds. Hickox with six points, two rebounds. Kelly with three points, three rebounds, and a block. Withers with four points and a steal. Three with four right, points, the ball, four rebounds. On the inbounds, don't chase the person. Stay right underneath the basket. Okay. Blades so, with 12. 23 right now. Three rebounds and a steal. Cisnello with two points and a rebound. Cody with four points, four steals, three rebounds. Corn. Nine points, five rebounds. McMahon with three points, a steal and a rebound. And Wilcox with five points, a steal and two rebounds. Leo put the ball in with 10.07 to play in this championship game. Dark rim by Brown. She picks it up. Oh, by Fox. Off the rim, off the backboard, too high. But three, no good. Fox the ball, a tie up. Kelly bring down the ball at 9.50 to play in this championship game. Brown with the ball. She puts it up. Off the rim. Rebound by McMahon. With nine and a half to play. For three. Plays down, no good. Rebound Latini. Not like that call. Pick me in with the hoop, but she gets fouled. Basket by Cody is good. And Cody. Back for a foul call with number 30, Haley Fox. Fox second. Second personal on Fox. Lawyers call time. Fox nine. Fox takes his second timeout. 
With 9.17 to play, the Warriors trail lead 37 to 36. Let's take it on Joe on our mates back to 23. Hey, you gotta play better defense on the road. How can you do 13 more well? Don't back up. up. Go get 13. Six, Number 13 is on your side, guard her, all right? Guard her. We're still in it. We run box man with direct to the post. That's and big. In good shape. You want to play There's hard out there. Rebounds Keep rebounds. The game. Don't touch anybody. Okay? You One point eight steals a game. Okay? On 18 points, to get the steals together. Keep you in. Play smart with it. The all right? Any questions? Big girls, it's going to really step it up now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three. Down about a steal a game. And so point two points a game. We've got time in. With 9.17 to play. Lee, 37. The Warriors, 36. Cody at the line. Shooting one. Show piece lead to two. At the line, Cody shoots one. And she makes it. It's a 38-36 game with 9.15 to play. A foul. Wildcats foul call to number 10, Emmy McMahon. McMahon's first personal, the first team foul this half. Fox the line. Haley Fox at the line will be shooting two. She's 75% free throw shooting for the tournament. And she misses the first. Second, 38-37. Wildcats can try to take a three-point lead. Four to from Holly McCoy. 40-37. to play. Wildcats lead at 40 to 37. The biggest lead. Gloria Ball. It's still 8.42 to play. 40 to 37. Gloria still have a chance. Hickok replaces Sarah Withers for Foxborough. Fox with the ball. No good. That foul will be caught on Cody. Cody, fourth. fourth personal foul on Cody, Fox second team ball. foul on Lee this half. Replace McMahon and Cody. 
A steal by Bladesdell. Possession lead. With 7.21 to play, it's still 40 to 37 lead. Kareem and O'Rourke. Checked into the Fox for all lineup. Desperately, Stutz going to hit a three desperately now. Brown with the hoop. Pass it to four. Long pass. Try for an interception. Possession, Warriors. Here's the replay on the three-pointer. Fox with the ball. Rebound. Four. Six twenty-five to play. Oh good, Crane with the rebound. That could have been the, 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 the Fox Sports Coffin. They looked it, but they passed it up. Almost lost it. We have a foul called. Wildcats foul number 24, Holly McMahon. fourth. Fourth foul on McMahon, fourth foul on Lee. Boy, the somehow in this game, right the six minutes to play. Possession, Lee. With 5.51 to play. Third. Foxborough foul. Called on number 30, Haley Fox. Third personal on Fox. The fifth team foul on Foxborough this half. Sanella to inbound. Royal ball. It's back to a four point, it's a four point game. 43 to 39. Kelly comes back in. We play the Fox. Fox brings down the ball. Fox brings down the ball. Look inside the crane. In the hole! It's down to a two point game. 43 to 41, Lee still has the lead. They're all by a hoop. The Foxdale faithful, trying to keep the team in the game. Puts it up, no good. Rebound, O'Rourke. A foul. Wildcat foul on Wilcox. Foul's on Wilcox first. First foul on Wilcox. Fifth foul on Lee. 
We've got a timeout on the court. Lee's the third timeout at the score. Lee 43, Foxborough 41. O'Rourke will go to the free throw line. First time in the tournament. Just come right down here, Jen Denise. Go all the way out to here. You might have Denise come over to the three. If you don't have Jen, give it to Denise. But get down here, make an angle pass. Uh, bounce pass. Last year, Lee took out Medway for the Division Three girls title. They lost at 64 to 52. They're trying to revenge the loss last year to Foxborough. Hit revenge out on. But Foxborough looking for their first ever state title in basketball. O'Rourke goes to the line. Shooting two. These two will tie it. She makes both. This is the tie. A rock at the line will be shooting two. She misses the first. This they cut it to a one point game. No basket, lane violation. Playing violation again. Lee bites the bullet there. Ball's good to buy Cody. Off to Wilcox. No oh, good. Rebound by Bladesdale. No oh, good. No good. Hickox with the rebound. They can tie it. Let's take the lead on the three here. Keller works it towards the bench side. Back out. A travel. With 408 to play in the game. Latini comes back in for Kareem. Leaves with six points, five rebounds. Mantini and Fox have returned to the Warrior lineup. Plays deal with the ball. Four minutes to play. A steal by Brown! And Blaze deal with comes with the big rebound. Three thirty-seven to play. Blades Dell. Gets it back to a, to a four-point game. Blades Dell with the rebound. 45-41. With three ten to play. Three minutes to play the game. Brown with the rebound. With 2.43 to play. Kelly for three. Lee's ball at 2.35 to play. Steal by Fox. Kelly. In and out. And a foul.
Brown at the free throw line. Shooting two. No, that'll give it two shots. Kelly will put the ball in bounds. Out to Fox. To Kelly. The Latini. Back out to Kelly. Rebound and put in by Hickox. It's a two point game with 2.13 to play. Fox will need to stop here. Ach! A foul. Green foul on number 20, Jessica Wilcox. Second foul on Wilcox. Fox by Hickox. Lee puts it out with two minutes to play. Once again, Fox needs to stop here. The three. No good. Rebound. Fox for possession. With a minute 55 to play. <laughs> Kelly works it down. Fox with the ball. In the brown. It's in! It's in! In the 45-45 game! With 30 seconds to play. It's one on one, plenty of time. Don't let your team beat us. Double her once you get and take the charge. We're going to have it for one second. We're going to get some eight points. Okay, so this is it. We're going to run Bucks man again. Uh, come up this side, give it a Haley. Go we'll pick away with the Jet. Take it up strong. Yeah, so we're going to hit you in the back. We're going to go on 75 and score it. We're up. We're going to go down with 100 for now. Okay, run up. Dell. And the shot clock. A steal by Latini! Brown finishes off! He has it again! With 35 seconds to play in the regulation! Lee 
makes their fourth timeout. Please call for time. With 47, 47 to score at 28.6 seconds to play in the game. The game resumes. Oh, it's going to have five seconds of shot clock. He has one foul to give, and they're in the bonus. One foul. Possession now is in lead favor. Okay, good say with the Dunga 13 get it. Don't foul it. Shot clock at 28.6 of the game clock. Fox is going to hold them. The three. No good. They're on rebound with 10 seconds. Possession lead. With 11 and a half seconds to play. Lee calls time with 11.5 seconds. Then I have time out. You just okay. tuned it. You missed one spectacular game. Pull that block. one point with tell by four seven. points. Okay. Now they're coming back to tie it. On this kid right here. Okay, you happen to get a pass with time out right away. Time out right away. Fox don't go, push it. Don't give them the shot. Right, double. Third, right, 11 and a half seconds. The ball's underneath. Right here, okay. Get off the ball. Down you 13. The huddle. Right? The huddle Fox go Warriors. Don't chase your girl. Then Fox. Fox. what you're going to do is get a pick me up from here. He's going to throw back. Okay, everybody can only throw tight. Whoever's on ball, get back here. You see the crowd. Take their court to another standing ovation. With 11 and a half seconds to play in regulation. Lead to inbound and on hoop. 10 seconds to play the game. Out of bounds! Warrior ball with 5.2 seconds to play! Damage calls time! They'll have 5.2 seconds to win the title! St. John's, they go man to man right now. Okay. There's one right Marco here, Chile two here, again. five, uh, actually there's four here this time, five here, and that's it, this one's got to have four. Are you seeing some of the Fox for baseball? Right time is saved the Worcester Central. With 5.2 seconds to play. Takes the court, but 5.2 seconds to play the game. Boxer to inbound and he's Lee's hoop. And they call their final timeout. Final timeout. Davis wanted to see what, what, what Lee was going to do.
Can we ask you to remain off the floor? Please stay with us for a post game show. We'll, we'll have the trophy presentation for you. So you see some of the crowds here at the Worcester Central. Let's recap. We've got 5.2 seconds to play. The score is tied at 47. Box is over the limit. Lee has one foul to give. They place it, Latini down. Fast on the free throw marker. Four, three, two, one. We go to overtime! At the end of regulation, Foxborough 47, Lee 47. It'll be a one minute break and then a four minute overtime period. We'll have a four minute overtime break. We've got a minute break. Let's recap this. Team, it's one timeout. Let's recap the scoring during this break. Grant with. 18 points, Lutini with seven, O'Rourke with two, Hickox with eight, Kelly with three, Fox with one, Withers with four, Corrine with six. And the Wildcats, please. Lays down. You want to jump the ball, go on the same glass, get the thumb up down. One, Haley, you get right over. Nella with two, Cody with seven. Ford, 11, McMahon with three, Wilcox with five. Each team will have one timeout in this four minute overtime period. The foul situation looks like this. Cody and McMahon each with four. Cisnello with two, Ford with three. The Fox Pro, Kelly with four. And Fox with three. Those are the two people in foul trouble. Fox takes to the court. Now jump the ball for this overtime. In my opinion, whoever wins this jump will win the title. Ready for this overtime period in the United State Division Three Girls Championship game. This is for the state title. And in control by Lee. And a foul. Foxboro foul on Kristen Lentini. Lentini line hits third. Third personal on Lentini. Cody at the line will be shooting two. Cody at the line shooting two. She misses the first. Three fifty-four to play in the overtime. She makes the second. Forty-eight forty-seven. Inbound to Brown. Stolen by Bladesdale in the hoop. It's up by three. Get it up to Fox, he did. Fox with three, with the steal off of Cicerella. Off of Bladesdale. Fox with the ball. Fox gets, gets fouled. Wildcat foul number 20, Wilcox for the second personal Wilcox, foul. Wilcox, second. Terrain replaces Lentini. Fox the line. She's one for two in the game, the free throw line. She's three for four Fox from the tournament. The line. 
shooting two. She makes the first. It's a two point game. Missed the second, it's a two point game. And over the blades, Dell. And the three to play. Rebound, Karain! Go wise, could tie it. Box with the ball. For three! Off the rim. Blaze do it, the rebound. With 2.37 to play. In the first overtime. No good. Kill with the rebound. The Brown. She gets the home and foul. The Warriors can take the lead. For second, Blaze Dell second. Second personal on Blaze Dell. Take this one shot will take the lead by a point. She makes it! They take the lead! With two two with two twenty to with two, two with two twenty to play. Double double. Foxbus crowds trying to get them. Foxbus trying to get them back in the game. They only trail by three. If they can hit that weapon, a three pointer, they should tie it. If they did not attempt intended threes, but did not hit the three today. They've got 28 seconds on the shot clock.
Withers will put the ball in bounds. They get to Kelly. Minute 20 to play in the game. Crowds on their feet. Into Latini. She gets fouled and counts the hoop. The tie of the game with 106 to play. McMahon fouls out of the game with two rebounds, one steal, and three points. Now have a 30 second timeout to make a substitute. Lee does. Her sister Emmy is coming in the ball game. Nicholas replaces Holly McMahon, who is so fouled out in the game. from this game. Latini to tie it. With a minute and six to play in the overtime. And the line, Foxborough, Latini shoots one. She misses it. Rebound by Nicholas. 60 seconds to play in the overtime. Five fifty-three, forty-nine point two to play in the overtime. She makes both the three-point game. O'Rourke with the ball. There's thirty seconds of count for three. Seconds to play. Lee calls a final timeout. Kelly's pumping the crowd up. One of three to tie it. With 17.3 seconds to play in the game. Fox ball, 56, leads 56. Kelly hit the biggest three of her career. Now, Lee will have 17.3 to win it. Marco should try to steal it. Uh, that was great defense, not to let the inbounds in. If we have, if this ends a tie, we'll go to double overtime. We'll keep playing overtime until somebody wins. Lead to inbound. With 17.3 seconds of play in the game. Down to 11 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7. Fox go ball with a tenth of a second. We go to double overtime, folks. What a game! We're going to double overtime!
He'll have that one minute break. He'll have another four minute overtime. Somehow Foxborough is staying alive. They have faced elimination three times this game. With the Foxborough crowd is still here. No one has left the building. The biggest match in the lead tonight was for four points. You can see the benches. We'll start the second overtime. We're going to double OT. They'll jump the ball again. Foxville Baseball standing up again. Here we go, second overtime in the State Division Three girls final. So is it still in the ball game? And we jump. Control by Lee. Lee's won every jump. A foul, Deion Withers. Foxborough foul on 24, Withers. Her second, second personal on Withers. Hickok replaces Withers. 3.48 to play in double Plays overtime. Down the line will be attempting one and one. She makes the first. Take a shot. She missed it. Great Ballantini. Kelly with the ball. Fox is trying to get the lead back. Kelly. To Brown. To Latini. With the hoop. 58 57. The Warriors take the lead back. 3.20 to play in double overtime. Lead ball off the box for here with 3.09 to play. Lead to put the ball in bounds. Still by a rock. The Warriors can increase their lead. Up. Round with the ball. To Latini. Turn around, put in. 60 to 57, the Warriors have that biggest lead, three points. With 2.45 to play. No good. Latini with the rebound. Two and a half minutes to play in a double overtime. The Warriors up by three. Latini with the rebound. In a possession, Fox throw. 2.21 to play. The inbound quickly. Kelly with the ball. They're working around the outside. Into Brown, possession lead. But under two minutes to play. Minute and 59 to play in double overtime. Will Fox with the ball. 
No good! Let the foul! I guess Lee! See, was just jumping on the court. Nicholas second. Let Tina go to the free throw line. Today, she's one for five for the line. This is to increase the lead to four. Warriors, you see Lee's head coach. One and one. She makes it! It's up to a four point game! With 98 seconds to play, this is to make it a five point game. She misses it! Possession, Foxborough! Six to play in double overtime. We've got a timeout on the court. Foxborough 61, Lee 57. We want to get this ball and make them foul us and get a layup out of it. Or why do we count this with five to ten seconds left? Half by half. At halftime, score was Foxborough 30, Lee 30. That's the end of regulation. The game was tight. Did you see the Foxborough face ball? The game was 10 of 47. At the end of the first overtime, it ended in a 56-56 tie. And now with 96 seconds to play, the Warriors lead it 61 to 57. Lee's taking the court again. Foxborough will have possession. Kelly to inbound. It's a Hickox to the three. Out to Brown. To Kelly. 90 seconds to play in the game. Kelly with the ball. to a minute. 60 seconds to play. Kelly walks it back out towards the half. The setup with 13 on the shot clock. Under a minute to play. The final shot clock. Latini, the foul! This is to put it away. Lays down. Lays down fourth. The T at the line. The T at the line will be shooting two. She makes it. 62 to 57. This is the point to a six point game. She makes it. Five seconds to play in the game. No good. A foul. With 35.4 to play. Lots of foul on number 20. Hickok. Hickok. Or third. First of all on Hickok. Four at the line. Horn at the line will be shooting two. Shooting two. She misses it! A timeout's called. Lee uses the final timeout.
They're going to follow us. All we want to do is we don't give up any trades. We're going to stay in five. If they miss, pull it in. They'll foul you right away. So all four bombers are somebody wide open. If they score, you're going to stay in five. Point four seconds away. But we're in the first the game title. Get it for her. Jen, you start on this side. And it happens. This place will be rough. We're going to get to the Back to a six point game. She makes it! This is to nail the coffin and for the state title.
to set the side. I'd like to draw your attention now to center court with the head coach and captains of Lehigh. Please come forward. You see this here is one on clock and certificates from Dick Salonetti, principal of Lee High School. And the captain and coach of Lehigh is here. Please step forward. This is State Cooper for the runner up for Lee High School. And now also on head court with the head coach and captains of the Hotspur High Warriors. Major Jerry Cullen, the other Chris Latini. Head coach, Captain Cooley. The center court, head coach and captains of Foxboro High. They finish with winning 20 straight Head coach feet. and captain, please, of Foxboro High to center court to receive your award. They've been asked to come to the center court, but right now the team is too busy hugging. They don't care right now about the trophy. Foxboro High will receive the championship flag from Sherm Kenny, the associate director of the MIAA. Let's coach go down for the trophy Lee presentation. And their captains. Foxboro High Warriors. The Warriors are the champ. First time ever. Let's recap the final scoring. Round, finish at 23 points. Latini with 16. Aurora for 2. Big Fox with 8. Kelly with 6. But a big 3 to set it in the double overtime. Fox with 2. Winners with 4. Kareem with 6. Baseball finished with 22 points. Cicinelli with 2. Cody with 10. Born with. Again, our congratulations to these two flying teams. 14. They need to leave the with 3. Again, the boys, Division 3. Nicholas with 2. State. The Fox Row Warriors once again win their first ever state title by a final score 65 to 62 in double overtime. I'm Frank McDowell. Speaking for the entire Cable Lake sports team, saying good night and congratulations to the Warriors.